We continue to monitor the evolution of the virus. The variants that you are talking about, I'm not sure which ones, but there's a number of BA2 and related variants. Uh, we're tracking, uh, for example, B BA2.12, BA2.12.1. B I think the one that you're referring to is BA2.12. Point twenty. Um, so these are sort of evolution of the o Omicron virus and the BA two sublineage. Uh, so we do know that they're, they're probably at least related to that lineage. Um, when we look at um, some of the parameters, we're learning about um, that some of them might have increased ability for transmission. Uh, a bit more increase in, in transmission capabilities um, that are um, on t you know higher than that of the BA2 um, virus, so the BA2 variant. So these we're keeping an eye on it, but uh, so so there are always abilities for um, surges to occur, particularly in um, under vaccinated populations. And so that, that wouldn't be unexpected. What I'm really looking out for, of course, are some substantial changes um, where there's an entirely new uh, variant of concern that are not Omicron variants. Uh, but, but we will track these. I, I think even over the summer month, there could be up and downs. Uh, we hope we'll, as I said, remain cautiously optimistic and that we will get a little bit of reprieve um, over the next couple of months and be ready for any resurgence in the fall. But anything can can happen and we just need to be remain vigilant. All of those practices we just all talked about can help um, keep any resurgences um, as low as we can and uh, keep a more balanced approach to the ongoing management.